In the continuation of the previous video, now let us calculate the uh, the inflow for project B, right? So let us remove this part for project A and final for project B, right? So whatever information we have found for project A and the same thing should be found for project B as well, right? So let us remove this part or clean this part and just find it for project for project B as well, right? This was the case. Just we need to remember this value basically for from project A. Why? Because later on we need to compare the project. So this was for present value of project A. Let me mention A here as well, right? This was for which project? For A project, right? Rest of the things that we have to find out for B is basically same with what we have find out in A project, right? So this is for A. So let us find out for, for B as well. So here you can mention B project. Instead of A, now let us find out for B project. So whatever information we have for A, just record it. But remember, A project is not for four years. A project is just for how many years? It is for for three years, right? So there is no information for the four there, so you can remove the last column. So this one should be removed. So put the value of A project, B project, 100 for the first year, inflow for the first year it is equal to how much? It is 100. Inflow for the second year it is equal to 130. And inflow for the third year is equal to how much? Equal to just amount of 50, right? So this is the case. So now let us find out the precession for this project itself. How to find out the depreciation? You can find out the precession as like this, like the previous one. So like the previous one mentioned the precession here, write down the precession, the precession, the precession, the precession. For, for which project? For B. I just mentioned the precision B, right? So we can understand what is the precision B. So like the previous one, so we can find out how we can find the precision. Cost of the project divided by life of the project. Cost of the project is just amount of 60 and life of the project is just 3, right? So 60 divided by 3, so you get equal to 20. So 20 like is the amount of the precision, it should be charged. So mention 20 for the first year. 20 for the second year as well as 20 for the last year, right? So as this one should be minus, so we have to take it in the in the bracket or otherwise you have to make it with the red color, right? So to 100 minus 20, the difference is equal to 80 and the last one, the next one is 110 and the next one is amount of equal to 30. Then from this amount, so we have to minus amount of depreciation, right? So take the precision, sorry, take the amount of tax. So tax for the first year is equal to how much? ET, ET is the amount of profit, right? This is the amount of profit. ET multiplied to find 4, which is equal to how much? 33, right? So this is 33. And of course, in the same way, you can find it for the next year as well. 110 multiplied to how much? Multiply to find 4. Find 4 simply means 40 percentage. So how much is tax for the second year? It is 44. And the same way you can find the tax for the next year, 20, sorry, 30, multiply to find, find 4. Which you get equal to how much? You get amount of 12. So as this one is also to be minus, so we have to take this one also in the, with the red color, or otherwise we have to take it in the bracket, right? So take it with the red color. Now let us minus 50, 80, 80 minus this one, so you get 48, right? And the next one, from 110 minus this amount. If it is not clear, so simply you can mention 110 minus amount of 44, right? So you press sign, you get a 66. Become equal to how much? 66. And for the next year, from 30 minus this one, so you get amount of how much? 80, right? Simple. Then we have to, this, this is called what? Profit after depreciation and tax. Then we have to once again add the amount of depreciation. 20 depreciation for the first, 20 depreciation for the next, and 20 depreciation for the last. Simple, you can find out this one. For the first year, it is 68. For the second year, it is 86. And for the next year, it is equal to 38. So these are the inflow for the project B, right? Based on this one, you can find out the inflow of the project. So let us say, 
present value present value of inflow we are first of all we have to find out the present value of inflow for project for which project for for of course for b project how to find out find out in this way present value for the first so inflow for the first year is equal to 60 68 68 divided by how much is the amount what is the, the amount of discount or the tax the discount rate it was 15 percentage so 1.15 bracket close end of power of one right press the equal sign you get some amount right so go for the second year inflow for the second year is equal to 86 divided by take a bracket for this one 1.15 bracket close and the power of 2 right press the equal sign sorry press the equal sign here and then enter you get the amount of discount for this one and the same case you can find out present value for the third year as well so 30 year divided by take a bracket 1.15 bracket close and the power of 3 right press echo sign and then enter you get some amount for this one so these are the present value of inflow year one year two and year three now let us find out the total right total of inflows total of present value of inflows right total of present value of inflows inflows right so give to or otherwise just give an equal sign then you can find out so please take the sum of this three or four item number one it is this much plus for the second year how much was for the second year inflows inflow of the second year is just amount of this much you can find out and inflow for the last year or year three was amount of this one right so these are the inflow so inflow then press the equal sign you get some amount so this is the present value of inflow for the project a for project b right so find out and give a specific color here how much is the present value of inflow it is one lakh 49 find something like that in the same way you can find out the present value of outflow as well right present value of outflow outflows but as you can see in this example like the previous one so present value of outflow is only amount of 60 like why because we have only only one investment if this is so now you can compare now you can find out the npv find out the npv for project b for which project for b project right how you can find out you can find out in this way it is equal to present value of inflow minus present value of outflow right how much is the inflow 149 find 1444 minus the present value of outflow how much is the outflow outflow is just 60 if you press it so you get the amount of this one right so let me highlight this one as well it is 86 so it is equal to how much this much so now we found the present value of info for project a as well as we found the project present value for project b right so let me now compare these two projects so this was the present value for project a and this is the present value for project a b let me highlight this one as well to find it in a better way right so how much is the inflow for project a project for present value for project a is 102 but present value for project b is equal to amount of this one so as per this method so as i said before if there is a mutually exclusive project any project which gave higher npv that project should be accepted so a will give more npv so a should be accepted and b should be rejected Although B is also a profitable project, but due to limitation in the organization, as it is mentioned in the example, both projects cannot be accepted, so only one. If you have enough funds, go for both of them, I'm suggesting this one. But as in this case, there is no enough funds, so project A should be accepted.